Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing well and keeping safe. I'm really bored today. It is Friday, it's like three o'clock in the afternoon. It might be even later than that. And I'm really bored. And I felt like filming a video. So I was actually originally going to film a daily vlog today, but I was like, I'm not doing anything. It'd be so boring. So I'm not doing that. I thought I would sit down and instead film a current favorites video, which I haven't filmed for a while. And I've got a bunch of things I've been really, really loving lately. So I thought I would just talk about them. So yeah, get a cup of tea. Or something i should have done that i haven't done that I might go do that i'll be right back and we can start chatting about some things i've been loving all right got my hot choc in a little cat mug fun fact if you want your hot chocolate people might already know this but if you want your hot chocolate <laughs> if you want your hot chocolate to taste a little bit more richer put a tiny bit of coffee in it and it makes it taste like i don't know just better and more chocolatey which is really weird but it works i probably shouldn't be having coffee right now at all but it's a school night so i should be fine it's probably going to take this whole damn video for it to cool down, but it's all right. At least I know it's there waiting for me. All right, let's get started with the first item. So I've actually got a few clothing items in this. So I think I'll start with that because that's what's right on top. The first thing being, and you guys may have already seen this if you watch my Do You Even Haul, is this set. I can't remember the name of this set, which is probably really vital for this video. But I'm sure if you guys go on the website, you will find it easily. I just love this color. The gray is so flattering. I love the fit of it. It's super comfy. I just find myself reaching for it a lot. And I get really sad when it's in the wash and I can't wear it. So that's why I can tell I really, really love this set. I'll show you the pants as well. So what they look like. They're full length. Super flattering. They're just really comfy. They're just something I really love reaching for. And they're really good quality. So I've been very, very much enjoying those and all of that range to be honest. The next clothing item that I've been really enjoying lately is this top from White Fox Boutique. I have it in both white and black and I actually wore the black one on my birthday and I just really like it. It's a super comfy, nice top, obviously for going out, for nights out. And it just fits really nicely. It pushes your girls together. It's really stylish. I've styled it twice on Instagram, so I'll insert those photos here and you guys can have a look. But I just think it's a really, really nice top. White Fox do really good, like cropped, going out tops, like the really perfect tops for that cute top and a pair of jeans outfit. So I've been loving these. I'm yet to wear the white one, hence why it isn't orange, but that will soon happen if I ever leave the house. <laughs> and the last clothing item I have been thoroughly enjoying lately, I don't know if I've mentioned these in a video before, but I've been wearing the hell out of my Balenciaga shoes. These are the... Oh. I don't know. Triple S's? I could be right. I'll write it in the video anyways. But I've just been wearing them with absolutely everything. I was very intimidated by them at first because they're bloody huge. I actually kind of wish I had downsized because there is room in this shoe. So maybe if you're planning on getting these, keep this particular style. Keep that in mind. Maybe if you're like between sizes, go the smaller size because they're huge. But now that I have kind of figured out what to wear them with, I'm really, really loving for them and I'm reaching for them a lot. Next, moving along to some more beauty related products. I've been loving this lately. Obviously we're in isolation, so we're not able to go and get our eyebrows done, but I love having my eyebrows tinted because it makes them so much easier to fill them in. So I got this packet from Priceline. It's called the 1000 Hour Enhanced Beauty Lash and Brow Dye. And I got mine in the color dark brown. I think that's the lightest shade. Uh, so what I do when I'm putting it on so it's not too dark, instead of leaving it on for 10 minutes before rinsing it, I just put it on for about five or six and that's the perfect color for me. And it's super easy to use. Obviously I'm really lazy, but this is easy. So I, oh, so I always use this. I probably use it once a fortnight or whenever I realize that it's kind of come off. And yeah, I've been really, really liking it. All you have to do is use the little, uh, there's like a little dye thing in there. You mix it with some drops, mix it around, pop it on your brow, leave it on for a little bit, rinse it off. Really easy. So yeah, loving this. The next two products I've only recently started using, but I'm absolutely obsessed with them already. The first is this product right here. It's called the Green Apple Peel Full Strength and it's by Juice Beauty, the organic solution. I am obsessed with this. I've only used it twice so far, but I can already tell this is going to be such an amazing product to add into my routine each week. You can use it one to two times a week. And basically what you do is you just put it all over your skin. You set a timer for 10 minutes. Your skin will go a little bit red, but then you just rinse it off and use like a soothing moisturizer, nothing that has salicylic acid or anything and go to sleep. And the next morning, your skin will be so soft. I have a lot of congestion in my skin, a lot of acne. And when I use this, 
I woke up in the morning and all of it was flat and it was amazing. So yeah, each time I use this, I'm always so impressed. So I'm really, really happy that I've got this now because I feel like it's really going to make a huge difference in my skin. Also, just quickly, this product is quite strong. So if you have super sensitive skin, you might want to steer clear. Although I have quite sensitive skin and mine's been okay. So maybe just get a tester and give it a go first. See how you react before buying the full product. Another skincare product that I've been using a lot recently is the Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask. This is a hydration one, which obviously Obviously, it's really great for this time of the year when it's starting to get cold and your skin's freaking out a little bit. I've been super dry along my, like near my nose, even on my eyelids and down my neck. And this has helped so much. And what I love about this is you can use it as a mask, leave it on for 10 minutes and rinse it off. But you can also leave it on as well if you need really, really intense moisturizer before doing your makeup. Or you could even put it on before bed and leave it on overnight and just wake up with super glowy, hydrated skin. And I've done that a couple times too. And it's just super super nice. I also love that this product doesn't leave you feeling really greasy. I've got to be in the right mood for like a face oil because they just get kind of annoying. But if I put this on, it doesn't feel really sticky and greasy. It just feels really nice and you can tell your skin is just soaking it up. So I would definitely recommend trying this out. Next is a shower product that I've been loving lately. I think I spoke about this brand in my last favorites video. It's the original source foaming shower gel in the orange scent. And oh my God, this smells like real orange. Oranges. It honestly smells like I'm rubbing actual orange peels on my body. It is amazing. So I love the scent, but I also love that it's a foaming gel. So it's really, really good for shaving your legs and you only need to use the tiniest bit. So it's been amazing. I think I'm definitely going to have to go and buy more of this. I'm not sure where exactly you can get it because I got mine from Silly Sollies around the corner from my house. So I'm not sure if you can get it in Woolworths or Coles, but I'm sure you can find it somewhere because it's amazing and it should be sold everywhere. It is so good. The next product's kind of a random one because it's just a little tester, but I did want to speak about a fragrance that I've been loving recently. And I've spoken about a couple of these ones before, and obviously this is the one that I've been reaching for, and I'm definitely going to go and buy the full size. It is the Louis Vuitton. I'm definitely going to butcher this. I'll probably write it in the video, but it's Les Sables Roses. I definitely said that wrong, but um, I am obsessed with this. It is so nice. I feel like it's a scent that people will either love or hate because it's very strong. It's like a really strong uh, florally fragrance, but it's also really deep at the same time. It's a really good nighttime scent. It kind of could smell grandmary, maybe. You guys will have to go and smell it, but I love it. I love how long it lasts on your skin. It's probably the longest lasting perfume I've ever used. It just really sticks to whatever you put it on, which I always appreciate because I hate when you put perfume on and it lasts 10 minutes and then it's gone. It's really, really annoying, especially when you spend literally hundreds of dollars on it. So I will definitely be going to purchase the full size of this. Another thing is you need the tiniest bit as well one spray is enough and that scent will be on you for the whole day I love it. So definitely go and give this a smell if you find it anywhere. The last product that I have to talk about today is a body moisturizer. This is the Bondi Sands one and I am obsessed with this. I love the smell of it. I love that it's self tan friendly and for the longest time, I actually don't know if I've spoken about this before, but I'm pretty sure I've only started using it within the last couple of months while it started getting cold and my tan's been crackling, but I always thought moisturizer made it come off faster. But no, no, no. This one makes it last so much longer. So I really, really love this. I will use it starting the next day. So I'll have the first day tan and then the next day I start putting this on every single day and it makes it look so nice. It doesn't make it go all tiger bready. And I also feel like when you moisturize every day whilst your tan is fading, it makes it easier to come off as well, which doesn't sound like a good thing, but it looks so nice on your skin. But because your skin's not all dry and crackly, you get in the shower to take it off and it just kind of like comes off easier. That could be all in my head, but I feel like since using this, it's just made my tan life so much better. So I would definitely recommend this and I'm running out quickly. So I'm definitely going to have to go and get to some more. And here's my last favorite. Oh, you're my favorite every month. I love you. That is everything that I have to show you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found some products that you might like to try. I'm probably going to go and finish my hot chocolate behind me finally and then probably pour myself a glass of wine and enjoy my Friday Eve. But uh, yeah, once again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more videos from me. And until then, I will see you in my next one. Bye guys! I can't wait for you. Bye! Say bye!